No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not that guy, no. But God bless you. God bless you. I wanted, to, I wanted to honor God first, and then I wanted to honor Pastor Jay um, for putting a word together. It's an awesome word, a word that we can take and feed on through the week. Amen? Amen, amen. amen. So we want to thank him for the word. He told me I can preach for another hour. He said, go ahead, just take your time. No, that's what you're <laughs> Somebody said, that'd be your last time coming here, you know. <laughs> but I thank God. I thank God for the music. We had some contemporary, and then we had some, some old-fashioned hymns. I remember those hymns back in the day, and those hymns still have power. They still have the power, amen? Sometimes we need to go back, don't we? Yeah, sometimes we need to go back. I wanted to, I wanted to kind of touch something. Um, it's funny, I was talking to Pastor Jay. I said, Pastor Jay, he was saying, I'm coming. Won't you come next week? I said, I'll be here. I said, what are you preaching? He said, I'm preaching about the anchor. I said, I'm preaching about the anchor too this week. He said, well, I tell you what, you do a recap at the end about the anchor. Isn't that a blessing? <laughs> so I'm grateful. I am. I'm grateful for Pastor Jay. I just want to kind of look at uh, just two minutes. Can y'all give me two minutes? I'm okay with two minutes? All right. All right. I want to make sure we're good. Amen. And, and he, was talking about, he was talking about faith and he was talking about really Banking on God's faith, trusting God and knowing that he's going to come through no matter what we're going through. He's going to come through. I don't care what we go through in life. God is there. And then you have to always go back like Pastor Jay did to the word of God, because the word of God speaks louder than me. Am I right? It says I like what he says. Jesus was our forerunner. Jesus has accomplished Three great things. He has gone on before us and announced us into heaven. Jesus has told heaven that we're coming. Did y'all know that? Jesus has told heaven that we're coming. My mama died last year. She was transitioned. But don't you know I'm going to see my mama again? My mama was a believer. My mama said, look, don't worry about me. I'm on my way. So I'm banking on the promises of God that I'm going to see my mama again. And that's, that's just what he's saying. Be anchored in Christ. And no matter where we are, I want you to get this piece. No matter where we are, what we're doing, what we're going through, we are still connected to the anchor. And we can't go too far and realize this, that the anchor is not anchored down. It's anchored up. Christ is the anchor. Christ is in the holy of holies. Christ is seated next to the Father in heaven. He is our anchor. We can trust him. And when it's all said and done, the rope will be pulled. And you're connected to the rope. But if somebody's not connected, I don't want to go there. We're going to leave that alone. I don't know about y'all. I'm connected. I always tell my people that. The only person I know is connected is me. Is my wife connected? She says she's connected. You say you connected. But nobody knows but the individual self. Amen? So we thank God for that. He told me, take my time. We got ham lamps out there. Don't. All right, Pastor Jay. Amen. So he is going on before us. He is going on before us as 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 a anchor. Amen. And they are expecting me and you in heaven. Jesus is the promise of more to follow. He is going on before to possess to watch this to take possession of the glories of heaven on our behalf. Not only ours. Not only is he waiting for us, but we have our family waiting for us. And I go, he says, I go to prepare a place for you. Is that what he says? I go to prepare a place for you. And where I am, I may receive you into myself. We are connected to that anchor. We are connected no matter what happens in life. Divorce, like he said earlier, trials, tribulations, deaths, losing a job, whatever you go through, you are connected to the anchor. And at the end of all this, because we don't have much time. I'm 60. I'll be 60 in November. But at the end of all this, guess what? I'm going home. I might have 10 years. I might have 20. But I'm going home. So I want to go out hard. I want to go out serving God all the way. I don't want to half step. And I'm going to go through troubles. I'm not perfect. I'm going to go through some things. But I know that I'm anchored. I know that I'm going. And guess what? You are too. If you're here today, you are a believer, you are anchored in Christ, and guess what? You can expect God to do something great in your life. Do y'all believe that? I believe that. I believe that with my whole heart and my soul. The Bible says in John 6.37, 
It says, all the Father give me will come to me. In the last days, I will lose none. And what is that saying? That you're anchored in Christ. All that the Father gives the Son, he says, I won't lose. Think about it. That means that God gave you to the Son. You have Christ in your life. He will not lose you. John 6, 37. Y'all get it? And then it says in Ephesians 4, 30, it says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, for you are sealed. What does it mean to be sealed? What does it mean to be sealed? You are sealed until the day of redemption. That means that God has sealed you. When you give your life to Christ, he has sealed you until the day of redemption. There's a redemption day. When I drop this robe of flesh, it hits the ground. My soul and my spirit goes to be with God. That's redemption day. I don't know about y'all. I'm, I'm happy about redemption day. See, see, listen, you may marry that handsome guy. They call it a tall glass of water, right? You may, you may marry that pretty woman, right? You may go to the best college, got all the degrees and all. You may do all that, buy the biggest house. But none of it supersedes God. None of it supersedes God. And when we get that concept down, wow, we see God in another level because we see him bigger than this life. Am I right? I got to stop. Can I, can I shut it down, man? He said, wrap it up. No. <laughs> All right, we good. We good, man. I'm not going to go on. But I thank God for you, Pastor Jay. Um, he has allowed us to come here, and I'm, I'm grateful. Amen. But if I had to give you a charge, the charge would be um, you can bank on the promises of God. So let's trust him. Let's move through this week. Amen. Trust in God. And guess what? At the end of all this, listen, at the end of all this, we leave up out the door, right? We must impact the kingdom of God. Our life must shine. Our light must shine before the world that they see Christ because guess what? They're going to say, can you talk to me? I'm going through some stuff. I have a young man right now I'm talking to, uh, one of my vendors. Well, he's a vendor. I have a heating air conditioning company, but he's a vendor. We buy equipment from him, and I was talking about something, and he broke down crying, went in the warehouse. And so I said, what's going on with him? They told me, and I said, I got to talk to him. And I knew God wanted me to talk to him. And I ended up talking to him, he ended up coming to church and all that. But I'm saying, we have a job to do. It's just not just coming here, sitting down. We have a job to impact. We have a job to build in their lives. And the question on the floor is, whose life is changed because of you? Hello. <laughs>